Hello, my name's Candice and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick demo and giving you my thoughts at the end on the new Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. Every year, around this time of year, Huda brings out a new launch of a bigger palette that she's got and this one is absolutely gorgeous. The duo chromes in here are absolutely beautiful and as you can see, I did a nice, easy, really quick and easy, no precision involved look using the palette so if that's something that you're interested in please continue watching so on a nice quite large fluffy brush i'm going to go into the first shade which is gratitude can you see this one here and i'm just going to pop that through the crease area wow and this is really pigmented so i wasn't expecting it to be that pigmented actually so nice, big circular motions here, just to gently buff that in. And I've already primed my eyes today, I've done it with the P. Louise base in the shade Room 2. As you can see, that's a beautiful colour, so I'll just dip back into that. And this is such a simple look that we're going to do today nice for every day and especially because it's winter as well and winter coming up and that time of year so nice circular motions you want to hold your brush from about there and then just to deepen that crease because i just want it a little bit deeper not too much i'm going to go in with the morphe m456 brush it looks a bit like that and i'm going to dip into the next shade along which is aura it's the dark colour there. And I'm just going to pop this along my cream. So I top off any excess and there's no kickback in this palette at all, which is good. And I'm just going along here. Can you see it's just getting slightly darker? And I'm just going to concentrate that on more of the outer edge rather than sweeping it across like the last one. Just to give some definition at the sides. Holding your brush from the very top. Don't want to hold it here, otherwise it makes it difficult for you to blend. And I'm just going to nicely deepen that crease. Now I'm just going to go back into the flat brush that I used to do my to prime my eyelids, and I'm just going to pat that on there. And this doesn't have to be neat because it's not a cut crease so just nicely patting it on just so the duo crumbs really pop when we put them on the eyelid and i didn't pick up a lot on my brush either and then i'm just going to go back with the same brush that i used for aura and i'm just going to blend those edges oh. And then go back into that big fluffy brush and what we used for gratitude i'm just going to go through the crease again just so that we don't have any ash lines because i'm not doing a cut crease today i'm going to go into moon magic which is this duo chrome right here shade so i'm going to pop it on my finger as you can see it's got a beautiful shift to it and i'm just going to pop that all over the lid and just look at that how beautiful. I basically bought this palette just for this. The duo chromes. And then I think I'll just get a tiny little brush. Just go right into that inner corner. So I think on the outer edge I'm going to go in with a bit, just a tiny bit of Cosmic Love. Which was the one that I couldn't decide for, just to give it some depth just using some setting spray i'm using the revolution one i'm just gonna spray my brush and go into cosmic look i'm just gonna pop that right on the center lid so i'm just gonna go back in with gratitude and my big fluffy brush and i'm just gonna go back over that crease just so we don't end up with any ash lines nice and gentle And then I'm going to turn it so the point is facing that way towards the outer edge and I'm just going to sort of do a very very tiny wing 
I can't do big wings just because of how I've got a bit of a hooded high, so it just doesn't go right for me. So that's one eye done. So I'm just going to quickly jump off camera and do my other eye and pop some eyelashes on and I'll be back with you in a minute. I am going to use the shade Self Love, which is that one. I'm going to apply that just there. I'm going to prime my face today using the NARS Tinted Glow Booster in the shade Seamoss, which is a medium shade. And this is great if you want a bit of glow to your skin. And then foundation, I'm going in with my favourite this month, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. And then I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer in Caramel. So I'm lightly going to set underneath my eyes. I'm not going to put too much on just because I'm going to go in with cream brush, blusher as well. And I'm going to use the Pound Cake from Food Beauty. So for blush today, I have got the Fenty Beauty Cream Blusher in the shade Bikini Martini. That shade. And this is lovely. It's so buildable. When you first look at this shade, it looks a bit scary in the pan, but it's so nice. So for under eyes, I'm just going to go in again with a little bit of Gratitude on a small fluffy brush and just pop that gently under there. So for bronzer today, I'm going to go in with the MAC Give Me Sun and I'm just going to go underneath where I applied that blusher. Never take any more on my brush at this point and I just use the point at this side and I just pop it going across the sides of my nose. And then for highlight today, I couldn't get hold of the new Huda Beauty highlighter, so I'm going to use this shade, Love Stone, which is like the balmy shade in here because it looks similar to the highlight. Probably nothing like it, but because I couldn't get hold of that, I'll just, I'll see how this is. So as an highlighter, actually, I think that works really nice. So it gives you like a glass skin. So for lipstick today, I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Candy K. So I'm going to set my face and I'm going to pop some eyebrows on and do my hair and then I'll be right back with you. So this is the finished look and I'm really happy with how this has all turned out. For this palette, do I think it's the palette of the season? Yes I do. I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful colours. For me, I bought this palette simply off the back that it's got the chrome, chrome colours in. I love the chrome, the duo chromes. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I didn't buy, I wouldn't have bought the palette just for the mattes. I think the Duo chromes are absolutely gorgeous to put on and they are the best formula out there. Huda does the best duo chrome, she has the best formula for it. For £60, do I think it's worth it? Yes, I do. I bought mine in the Boots Black Friday event, which had 20% off. So it came to something like £43, I think, I'm not quite sure. No, £48 it had, it was £48.75. So it had um what's that 11.75 off i might be wrong there <laughs> but i'm not very that was very quick maths and i'm not very good at maths it is the packaging is absolutely beautiful exactly the same as the mercury mercury retrograde i absolutely love that palette as well i think it's so pretty especially for like the winter spring some months it's just beautiful an all-around beautiful palette I do recommend that you get it, you try it for yourselves. It is a very cool toned palette. I don't personally like the more matte shades, but I didn't buy it for the matte shades, I bought it for the duochromes. So yeah, that is my thoughts. 
I would be very interested to try the um, Huda Rose Quartz Highlighter. I know a lot of people don't like that formula. I know they don't like the balm on it. They think it looks like a Petri dish. I like it. I think, yeah, when you, when you look at it, it does look a bit weird. Once you rub your finger into it together, it just smooths out into a beautiful colour. And I think it highlighted the shade in here, which is the same formula. I think it highlighted beautiful. So I think it'd be a beautiful highlight on your brow bone. But yeah, absolutely stunning. And kudos to Huda. Such a beautiful palette. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye.